Yo, what's up? It's Mr. Torch. I got my nine month chip for NA. Being clean for nine months. NA. Fucking all day. That's what's up. Um, it's Mr. Torch. Last name is Makasan. Everybody in Yuma knows me. What's up? All the homies. What's up in the west side? Alright, here's a freestyle. It's not a freestyle. It's a, it's a rap that I wrote when I was locked up. So, it's for anybody that's been having a drug addiction or anything. Let me shut this a little bit so you can see me. Um, alright. <clears throat> all the pain in the world, all the pain. Man, I hate when I see people brag about drugs, saying that they got it all. They got the dope. They got the heroin and they got the coke. It's like the brothers say that they like being junkies and they like living that way. Well, let me tell you one thing I hated it. When I started doing dope, it changed me, man. It turned around from only smoking pot to doing dope every day, thinking that I couldn't stop. I was getting very angry with the decisions I made. Then I went to a hella dark spot in my mind. I thought everybody hated me. I wanted to cry, but I didn't have tears to do that anymore. Cause I met the fucking devil and he took me away. I started hating life and the people around. I was only focused on where to get that next fix. I wasn't even worried about my family though. I started stealing from a man. I started lying, bro. I started thinking in my head, why do they hate me, yo? It wasn't because they hated me, they wanted me clean. I was only thinking selfishly, I was only thinking about me. Not even worrying about the pain that I caused my family. I just got worse and worse in my fucking life. I went homeless, bro, and started walking all night. Not even worrying about the pain that it put me through. Not even worrying how much weight I was losing, fool. I was never a big kid, but I gained some weight. But then I lost it all from the drugs, man. I was focused on dope more than anything. Even dropped out of school and started slanging, man. But then one day, I went to the homie's house. Tweaked out my fucking mind. Paper noise as fuck. I looked at him and it looked like he wanted to cry. He said, Torch, you gotta stop this shit. We grew up together, man. I don't wanna see you dead. You're killing yourself with these fucking drugs. Look at you right now. You're paper noise as fuck. You're probably not even listening to what I gotta say, but please, Torch, just think about it, man. And then after that, I started thinking, bro, I started thinking about the homies in my family, yo. Yes, I never wanna live like that in my fucking life. But now I'm doing better and I'm making it right, even though I always thought that I never quit ice. When I get out of here, I wanna record this shit and show all you kids and teens that ain't right to do this. So if you wanna have a great life, stay away from drugs, stay away from bad influences, and listen to your homies when they tell you, bro. Don't worry about the struggles in your life. If you put your mind to it, it'll be all right. So there it is. It's called All the Pain in the World. It's Mr. Torch, Marcus Sign Family. What's up, Yuma, Arizona, 928? What's up, everybody? Shout outs to all the homies out there. Shout outs to Mikey. Shout outs to Rocky. You're the one that told me. And I put it in that song. You're the one that told me that you didn't want to see me die from drugs, homie. And now I'm changing my life around nine months clean off heroin and meth and everything. Fucking. I lost a good homie when I was locked up. It's your brother, Rocky. Rest in peace, Leandre Montel Richards. Born January 19, 1997. Died July 9, 2017. Rest in peace, Dre. Fuck the motherfuckers that did it.